In this video, we'll learn how to integrate our proxies with Go Login. First, sign in to your Go Login account. You can create a new profile to use with Data Inputs proxies or edit current profiles. To create a new profile, press the Add Profile button. The software automatically names a profile by its number in order, or you can change a name and select a folder. Now move to the Proxy tab and choose the Your Proxy option. Select a proxy type and enter host, port, login, and password. You can copy them from the Pull All tab or the Residential tab in your Data Impulse account. Finish the setup by clicking on the Create Profile button. Now you have a brand new profile backed up by Data Impulse proxies. You can also use our proxies with profiles that you already have. To add a proxy, hover the mouse over the proxy section of the selected profile. When you do so, a gray sign plus appears. Press on it and the window will appear. Enter host, port, login and password from your Data Impulse account and press done. Now you're good to go. If you use other proxies and want to switch to Data Impulse proxies, hover the mouse over the necessary profile. You'll see a dot on the left side of the proxy's name. Move the mouse to it but don't click, and the window will appear. Press on the pencil at the top right corner of the window and re-enter the host, port, login, and password. Press down to save the new settings. To check whether you completed the setup correctly, open myip.gologin.app. You'll see your custom fingerprint data if you did it properly. For your convenience, we also have this tutorial in text. You'll find the link in the description to this video. If something is wrong and you need help, write to our support team by clicking on the widget in the bottom right corner of the screen. We are here for you 24-7 and our managers answer in no more than several minutes. Well, that's all for today. If you like the video, give it your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the evolving world of technologies. Write in the comments what tutorial we should fill next. Till the next video.